Guys, let's see if the new shelf is. Nice. Don't worry about the wonkiness. It's the ground. Alright. Beautiful. Nice fit. All right, so before we start um, screwing all this down, we'll go grab the sander, give everything a bit of the sand, um, and take the router to it as well, to make it a little, a little bit more prettier. We'll grab them. Alright guys, so that's the finish I'm after. Again, it's amazing what a router can do to add a little bit more effect. Alright, good. Let's see if I'm going to leave this roll, which I think I am. Alright, let's finish the whole lot. Alright guys, sanding and routing's all finished. So it's got a really nice finish on it now. You can see the corners. And again, this edge hasn't been finished just because of the shelf. Thing to point out, screw holes, not too close to the edge, because it can affect. I think that's come up really nice. I think all my uh, workbenches and projects I might give this nice finish. All right, so let's uh, slap the shelf on it. Now this thing potentially could be coming on and off, depending on the modification, so I'm not going to um, glue it, and also it's not going to need too many screws, it would be quite a bit of weight on it. Now also with this, I'm actually going to cut this here, the reason being is, um, as well as being a saw table, the wall saw table I'm potentially going to add a router bench so look out for uh, another video where I'm going to apply this and add a router bench to it so all we're going to do is work out the width of that which we'll do now top all out 70mm Let's cut this 
take it off. And then we'll screw it inside. in position and work out next steps. She's pretty damn heavy. Now I designed this so I can put a little side table here. Um, so this, when you unlock it, let's get, how about let's we'll get this dust extraction out of the way. Now that's another video, <laughs> if you want to watch that one, but that works absolutely brilliantly. Yes, yeah, so the idea was to have a bench here and then have this slide out over the bench. Now we need to line this up perfectly for this to happen. In hindsight, I probably should have left a bit more play. So there you go. Pretty good. Not bad for first go. Yep, so that clears that. And then the idea is to have a bench, a bench here in this space. And like I said later on, we're going to pop a router in here. Um, I've got my little baby one, which would sit under there quite nicely. And then we can utilize the fence system there as well, which is great. And we'll make a little modification there so we can get dust extraction. There'll be another video. Um, yeah, let's work on getting this into the right position and locking it down. Um, and then this bench that will be next. All right, guys, so this is what I've come up with to lock the legs in place. So we've got some hardwood. This is actually Tazio um, Architrode. <laughs> so we're going to use this. Now we're going to cut them into small pieces like this. And it just so happens at 43 mil, when you cut it, you end up with the perfect height to be able to make this clamp. So that originally was that. And all I've done is basically countersunk two screws which drill into this, pre-drill into this, because this is hard, but you'd be careful not to crack it. Again, holes not too close to the edge. And then we've got screw. And again, with all these holes, especially in this top piece, make sure the screw can go through nice and easily. And again, with these two, you want it to bite into this. And then with this one, you want it to bite into the table. All right, so three more to make. Here we go. All right, guys, so we started with the architrave <laughs> and now we've got these clamps, okay? So they should look, look beautifully, um, I hope. But a, a beauty is, again, just easy in and out. What I'll probably do in the future is I'll probably put some knobs on those screws so I can just quickly hand tighten in and out other than using a, a, a screwdriver. All right, let's go put them on. All right, guys, so we'll just clamp these on the inside, and then what we'll do is just slightly screw them in a little bit so we can mark the hole. Same on this side. All right, we'll have to move that. Let's mark the other two. All right, so once they're all pre-drilled, Screw them in place. And you won't get the corpus drill under here, but hand through will be fine. And like I said, we'll put the knobs in later on. Solid as a rock. All right, let's have a look. Now you'll notice this one over here. I had to put it on the outside. Reason being is rest, you wouldn't have got the cable undone.
nice and neat. And again, that's really fixed to the trolley. Now the beauty of this is the way these work, stops it moving this way. It's hard up against these posts on each corner. So, and that will stop it moving left and right. So therefore, this is what I'm talking about. <laughs> I've made it like literally, I reckon the millimeter or half a millimeter clearance. So it just needs to be in that right place. That's perfect. I'm pretty happy with that. All right, on to the next part. But to remember to take this one off for the next one. <laughs> Absolute perfection, and let's just make sure the pimp slides past it. the top off this attraction and it will be right. Alright guys, because the plane isn't the fritz, what I'm going to do is basically I've dropped the blade down to about three or four mil and I've put a rabbit in the bottom um, and then we'll drop the height down slowly. The plane or I don't have and I don't have a hand. <laughs> so let's get started. So that's the result. And again, this is bloody hardwood, so there's no way I would have done that with a chisel or by hand. All right, let's see if it works. Beautiful, spits, line everything up. All right, guys, so that clears it beautifully now. And again, that's just a bit of extra bench flush with this one but just when you're feeding stuff through that's quite wide will just help and again it's a nice finish sometimes you might even put tools on there and whatnot so it works perfectly all right uh, let's figure out how we're going to attach it and what i did was similar to the other finishes i've put this edge on it so what we're going to do is i'm going to take the edge all the way around just to finish it now this is going to be a little bit difficult because when you're going with the grain it's nice and simple. When you're going with the grain with the rather it's nice and simple but when you're going across the grain, uh, which I'll show you, a little tip. So basically you've got to put a piece of tape and then run, make sure the tape's on firm and then run the router on it and that'll stop it splintering. It won't splinter when you run this way but if you run the router this way it will splinter. All right, I'll show you what I'm doing. All right, guys, just make sure it's free of dust. Put, hang it over the edge a little bit. Just masking tape. Doesn't that, don't necessarily put it over the edge. Just line it up with the edge. 
wrap it all the way around, both sides. And then just make sure it's firm. At the end of the day, this is with this rather bit, I'm going to be taking in this far either way, but just make sure it's firm all the way around the edge. Be very, very careful on the end bits. Going into it, be very gentle, it's a lot easier. But this one, if you go out that way, you'll splinter it. So you'll see what I do. Always do a second pass. There you go. A nice, perfect, seamless edge with no splintering at all. Okay, and then very important that you take the tape off before you start the other edges, or else you'll have a little raised section. So I'll just quickly show the other edge. beautiful edge so we'll take the sand, sand out of that to get the burn out of it otherwise that's beautiful all right next section There you go, guys. Loving this edge. <laughs> Alright, guys, so I've worked out what I'm going to do. So, what I've done first up is I've just clamped this. I've put a block of wood here. So, that means that this and this will be flush. They're clamped together. Okay. And now, what I've got to do is figure out the weight of then supporting this side of this. But I need to make this removable in the future because the plan is. In another video is to actually put a router in here if possible so what i've come up with is this so <laughs> bit of pine just a piece mithered glued um, we've used the creek pocket holes okay and then the idea is to now fix that in here now i don't know if you, you probably can't see it but this piece here it's just got a little bit of twist this way um so which is all right there's a little bit of a gap between here and here so we'll end up um just um what you call it packing that all right so we're going to insert in that in a little bit yeah get these in place so and we'll just screw these straight from the sides all right let's get prepped for the for that Alright guys, it would be easy to just take the top off, so I did. Alright. So we got this one here. So again, I've pre-drilled and countersunk down the side. Now, I've drilled the holes in this bigger. Okay. So it can go through smoothly. Now the first one, we're not going to pre-drill it. We're just going to go straight into it. Now this piece is going to be a bit more delicate, so we're actually going to do a little pilot hole for that one. Okay. Beautiful. Alright, make sure it's square. Yep. Yeah. Alright, this bottom one, just pilot hole. Again, I don't know if I mentioned it, but I'm not gluing it. 
because I'm not sure what's going to happen with this area, I might end up doing something different later on. Alright, same process. And she's nearly finished. Except I just realised <laughs> that had to be a fraction down because of the rabbit. Uh, so what are we going to do? Um, we'll take these off the easiest way. Uh, easiest way is to actually just put a rabbit in there. All right, let's do that and come back. But she's looking good. All right guys, so I'll show you what I've done now to secure this dead center <coughs> in between these two arms, which have to slide over with um, minimal distance between. So if I flip her over. And again, this is pretty straightforward. So I've got this spacer here, which goes on the outside of this which basically tells this that it can't go that way anymore. Then I've got these perfectly positioned on these corners, and this stops this from shifting left or right. Uh, and then it's, it basically locks it in between this piece of wood that's underneath it. So it stops it going this way and that way, and it's perfect. Now at the moment I've left that so I can easily come on and off, so I can get easy access underneath to the riving knife. Okay, or otherwise you'll be able to take the riving knife out from the front. Um, but the plan is, and you'll see with this, how easily it locks in. So the plan is to pop this baby underneath. So what will end up happening, and I'll give you a quick preview, is this will end up being mounted like so. So that's the plan. And then we'll have easy, easy height adjustment. We'll make a height adjuster for it. Um, so yeah, so that's the plan. All right. Okay, so that was pretty straightforward. We'll pop this in place. And guess what, we're done. Okay guys, so this is the, the final workbench. Um, and again, when I say final, <laughs> it won't be final, but this is the basic version of what I need to now start pimping it out. So um, I'm sure the way it looks now, um, in the weeks and months ahead, it will probably continue to develop uh, as I add bits and pieces. But this is really a solid start. Um, very straightforward, very simple too. Um, so I'll take you through sort of all the stuff I've got done uh, and the stuff I'd probably do a little bit differently. Okay, so um, obviously I've left all of this open for a reason, um, purely just because obviously the front has to be open, need good access to everything. Um, the side here has been left open just so everything can breathe. You've got um, Table access here, which again, because it's mobile, I can move it to wherever I want. Uh, over here, this little bench. Now, with this little bench, I've designed it so this. So, with this little bench here, I've designed it so this can go over. And just that's at that, its full extension based on this position here. And that way it just gives you a bit more support, okay? And again, with this, just unlock, take off, fully extend it Nice and simple, okay? And then you can drop that down, okay? So that's all nice and level. All right. And then we can wind that back in. And that out of its full extension, that's 83 centimeters, okay? And then to close it off, pop that back into place. 
And that's not nice cement either. Wine tub. Okay. Now, other things to keep in mind is with this side table. So with this, it does not go anywhere, but it's designed to easily come off because in one of its next evolutions, I'll be putting in a router table here. So over there, I've got my Triton router. Um, but I'm thinking that if I actually have the router table included in this, I might get a bit more use out of it. And then I can utilize this fence as well. And then I'll probably make a, a modified fence for this for dust extraction for the router. Uh, and then the way I've designed this, is this clips off at the moment. Uh, when the router is in place though, I will have a locking mechanism. Um, but this is designed so every time you put it back in place, it goes perfectly into position. Locks in, there's no play this way, there's no play this way. And then that means that this always And I've got the minutest of adjustment, probably at one to half a millimeter between this and here, and this and here. Okay? That operates really, really smoothly. Okay? And I've left this all open here as well. And this piece here, lock it in this, this has actually been cut here. So depending on the router, the size of the router, um, if anything, if I need to remove this bench and lower it to under here, we'll just remove it in totality. It's just under these four screws and it pops out and doesn't affect this. Okay. So here's a bit of a close up. And I've put this nice edge with the V groove all the way around and then I've kept that same design through everything else now those wheels aren't staying on they're just temporary <laughs> until I can get my proper wheels hey Macy hey here you go <laughs> all right and as you can see here I found that that's actually the hiding place um, for that guard I'll be popping around here and this is why you need access all the way around so that with the riving life clips in there and then when you want to take that out and substitute it for this riving knife um, that will then go into that place so you don't lose anything okay so while I'm back here so I've made these little, as, as you saw, these little holders and positioners for the feet. So they're in all four positions. And then that keeps things nice and accurate. And then as I mentioned before, you'll see the gap here. Okay nice and accurate so again just the initial plans I've got so far what I'm talking about is router table here with fence with new system uh, I'll put a dust extraction system underneath I'll pop the new wheels on that um, based on what I've done so far what would I do differently um, I'm not necessarily happy with the finish this is what I should have done was put a rabbit in that and had that inset so then this was flush with the top of this that would have looked quite nice um, otherwise everything else uh, most of the joins were done with the pocket holes and would you believe my first time using pocket holes uh, and I've used the creek system there I love it I'm ecstatic. I'm really happy with the way it, it turned out. Um, and I think what's going to happen is my old Triton uh, work center, I think I'm going to be using less and less or potentially just for roofing really big boards. And again, you can roof big boards this, like this. Like I said, from here to here, 825 mil, but then you can also rip this side of the fence. Uh, as you can see, 
<laughs> my workshop's quite small and I tend to have all of my tools outside and I cover them under tarps in the weather. Um, but basically with this, I almost eliminate the Triton work centre and I also eliminate my router table. And then this will end up being in the shop. Um, and then you'll see there's another one, two, three, four, another five, another five um, mobile work pinches I'll be making for my little workshop. And they're all gonna interlock. So um, you'll see them in the videos to come. Uh, or you can click in the links uh, depending on what time you're watching this. Alright, so I hope you've enjoyed that. Um, again, I've only been using it for a few days so far, but I absolutely love the DeWalt DWE 7491. Um, and again, I'm sure if Little Brother works exactly the same, just again, the smaller table and the less room outside of the blade. So, hope you enjoyed that. Um, I'll see you in the, the next video. If you like what you've seen, give us a thumbs up. Any feedback or any questions, pop them in the comments below. Uh, and if you enjoy what I'm doing, maybe subscribe to the channel. Or share it around. Uh, all the good working channels out there. Uh, or if you know anyone else, we'll buy one of these. Alright, see you guys. See you next time.